when one of our community members mentioned that they got uh, Norden 360 Gamer Edition, I was very curious because I didn't know that antiviruses would have anything to do with gaming. So that's what we're going to test today. What impact does the AV on your system, including Windows Defender, have on gaming, if any? And is there a difference in terms of what antivirus you use? We're going to benchmark a couple of different titles on a realistic gaming environment, which is going to be the ROG Flow X13 provided by Asus. Big thank you to them with a 4060 and a Ryzen 7940. This is gonna be very similar to what an average gamer would have. Of course, Asus puts it in a very compact and portable package. But before we get into that, coming back to Norden and their gaming edition. So apparently, now they have a different GUI that shows different components of the product. So if you open the device security, you're going to see the uh, typical AV UI, which says it's Norn 360 for gamers. And this is the part that has all the usual components, security scans, and if you go into advanced settings, you've got your behavioral protection firewall, all of that stuff. Now, on the other hand, they have something called game optimizer, and of course, a VPN, software updater, additional features. Now, if we look at the uh, game optimizer, which is turned on by default and uh, go into the settings, it says it can restrict resource usage for user processes, automatically set power plan to max performance, but then again, you can do that yourself. It can turn off notifications, which is similar to game mode, which is uh, available on many other products. Real-time protection, which can keep your PC more secure while gaming without affecting performance. And I do get asked what antivirus I should use if I'm gaming. So I decided to run three tests, uh, one with F-Secure. Why F-Secure? It's just the antivirus I was using at the time. So that was kind of like the baseline. Then I removed it. So we just had Windows Defense which comes by default with Windows, everybody has it. And then we tested the Norden 360 Gamer Edition, and here are the results. The two games I chose to benchmark are Far Cry 5 and Civilization 6. You might think, why these games? Why not something more modern? Well, a couple of reasons. First of all, they have really good in-game benchmarking tools, which is important because you want to get consistent results because the differences in these cases may be so small. If you don't have consistency, the results could be very misleading. Secondly, these games are CPU intensive and as an AV is doing scans in the background, it's running a process, I expect it to affect CPU usage and not GPU usage. So if you benchmark a game that's very modern, has really advanced GPU requirements like Cyberpunk or Hogwarts Legacy, the GPU becomes the bottleneck and any difference that may be there in the CPU utilization is not going to show up. So first off, we're going to look at the Far Cry 5 results. Starting off with F-Secure, we had an average FPS of 105 at 2560 by 1600, very high settings, resolution scale set to 0.5, because again, we're trying to exaggerate CPU differences here. And the higher the resolution scaling, the more GPU bound it's going to become. Moving on to Windows Defender, we noticed an average FPS of 106, minimum of 78, and maximum of 140. So barely any difference only about one FPS, which is within the margin of error. So I could just rerun the benchmark and it could give me one FPS more or less. So I don't think it counts. And then finally, with Norton Gamer Edition, we managed again an average FPS of 106, minimum of 78, maximum of 139, well within the margin of error. So did the Gamer Edition give us more FPS or a better gaming experience? Inarguably, no. It made zero difference to the actual gameplay and the experience. And you have to keep in mind, there are much bigger factors that are going to play into your gaming experience, like the temperature of your room, your cooling solution, how long it's running consistently. In order for these test results to be accurate, I made sure that every time I started the test, the temperatures had gone back to normal, so the system wasn't stressed in any way. And now I can say with absolute certainty, it made no difference. Moving on to the Civilization 6 benchmarks, and this is the CPU or AI benchmark, the average turn time, lower is better, for F-Secure was 6.49. 
So this is the time it took to calculate a single turn and move on to the next one. Of course, Civilization is a turn-based game, which is why it's CPU intensive, because it has to do a lot of CPU calculations for each turn. Moving on to Windows Defender, the turn time went up to 6.55 seconds. But again, this is well within the margin of error. In fact, I rerun this task several times and I saw variations from 6.5 to 6.8 even with the same product installed moving on to norton gamer edition once again we had an average turn time of 6.55 so again no significant difference even in a cpu intensive game if anything the default baseline i had which was f secure actually wins this one but does this mean an antivirus makes no difference when it comes to performance not necessarily the case and the areas where an antivirus may have some impact on performance is when you're opening a new file and it has to scan it or when you're actually being faced by a malware attack and that depends on other things like the efficiency of the engine the way it's programmed how well it works and i think the security tests are more relevant for that kind of information. An antivirus would make a significant difference when every game was CPU bound, single threaded, and you had core to duo CPUs. But now we have so many threads so background process really has very little impact on your actual gaming experience. Not to mention, most modern games you play will be GPU bound. So it's all going to come down to how good your GPU is, how much power is going into it, which has very little to do with what software is on your system. And of course, the impact is only going to get lower as we get higher up in the specs. So if you have a 16 core CPU and a 4090, it's going to make even less of a difference. Do not pay extra for any kind of gamer edition software or any software in general that claims it's going to improve your gaming performance it just isn't going to do that please like and share this video if you enjoyed it and i want to say a big thank you to asus for sending me their latest version of the rog flow which is an excellent business laptop that i've been using for the last year so this year i just asked them to send me the latest version it is amazing how capable this system is for how thin and light it is i've been using it ever since i received it i went to the vars bulletin conference with it and i was amazed by the 11 to 12 hour battery life I was getting while doing office tasks, which is incredible for a gaming laptop. It just wasn't possible a few years ago. I can't overstate how portable this machine is, how easy it is to carry. I think it's safe to say it's the most portable gaming laptop in existence right now and it also comes in a cool shiny box so if you're interested do check them out using link in description and once again thank you all so much for watching and as always stay informed stay secure